So the Bourbon Experience, and uh, we've been kind of on this wagon here for a little bit about uh, Whiskey War. We're really enjoying the Whiskey War stuff, and uh, these fools were able to get their hands on the, the cigar cask, uh, which is amazing. A, a highly sought after one right now from, from High Bank Distillery. It's really just new. It, it, it's yeah. been, been out a very short time. 116 proof. Yep. And uh, so, anyways, uh, we thought we'd do a little tasting, darn, and then uh, and then review it, and then you know uh, give our yeah. give our points out to it. And so you're aware this is finished in an amberana uh, with amberana staves, or I, I don't I don't think they stuck it in an amberana barrel, but finished with amberana, so you get that kind of. Gee, thing. Nathan, what is amberana? It's Brazilian wood. Where did you say we got this wood? It's Brazilian wood. Thank you. They finish it in the Amberana cask or wood, and it produces that, I guess, stereotypical cinnamon toast crunch type of thing that a lot of people are in, in the whiskey world might be getting tired of. I don't know. This is the first time I've ever had some of it before. And oh, fam. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, and a few weeks ago we went on a tour. If you want to, we've kind of been on a, a big kick with these guys. Uh, we're kind of fans, I guess you could say. Um, this is kind of some of their line, but again, uh, based in Columbus, Ohio. Yeah, I remember that is honey. Yeah. Uh, so based in Columbus, Ohio, uh, and they pretty much do the gambit. They do not have their bourbons out, but I. I I've said, we've said this before many times, I think these drink like bourbons personally, but anyways, so, um, so the scar cask, we're going to give it a, give it a taste and see what we think. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I could smell that for days, honestly. You, you can smell the, it has a, a very strong cinnamon smell, uh, nose, and you can smell it from across the room. Yeah. It really is strong. It, it, the nose is... But if, but if you like if you don't like cinnamon, then this is probably not the one for you. If you like cinnamon, yeah. get it. It's worthwhile. But but I, I wouldn't say it's like that spicy cinnamon. It's a, it's no, a, it's no. a sugary cinnamon. It's, it's, it's soft. You, it's very very. You said it. Horrible. I forgot about it, uh, and then I still said it, forgetting that it's it smells like an elephant ear. Yeah. You go to the fair, that's an elephant ear right there, you know? Yeah. And, and my first thought was that, that it smelled like cin cinnamon toast. Cinnamon toast crumb, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's just... And, mm. um, we like like the, lo the longer you, you drink it, yeah. You can do what you want. Like that? Well, you, you've asked permission before? And no. I've never asked permission, but I thought I... I, know. I, I, I it, it, You can do what the heck you want. I'm the old guy, right? What, what country are we living in? <laughs> no offense to anyone out there, but if it were up to me and my family, I would actually call it our America and not their America. Thank you. So, like, yeah. So with this, though, even on the nose, the more I smell it, I'm I'm getting kind of like those uh, some banana notes. I get a little bit of coconut, but that comes through more on on the tape. Those two. Uh, will come through more on the taste and finish for me. Mm. But yeah, I'm not I, I still out of those. Yeah, I just have a soft cinnamon. I don't I and, and I don't get a banana or a coconut on that. Yeah, and my and from my perspective, the cinnamon overtakes almost everything yeah, that I smell. So it, it's it's very strong cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Not bad, but very strong. All right. Yeah, there's the butter. Oh, man. That, that, that coats so well. Yes, it does. That's it's a nice mouthfeel. It's got one of the best mouthfeels out there. Um, so, it, it definitely has the, 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 the baking spices come, bam, and they hit you. Um, what's a little distracting, mid-palate. It's kind of... Um, uh, it almost takes away from everything that I'm, I'm trying to figure out there. Mm -hmm. So, not and again, I'm this is being over analytical. This is a good bottle of bourbon, 
or whiskey, sorry. Uh, but those baking spices really just kind of, again, mid palate, and you're like, woo, what's going on there? There's a lot going on, and mm -hmm. it's. It does not drink like a, was it 116? No, I think it drinks probably closer to 120, 125. No. I think that's that, to me, oh, to awesome. me that's the baking spices or whatever that is that mm -hmm. comes out. It's, it's not that, I don't think that's the alcohol for me, at least for me. Yeah. Well, I, uh, I not, I, to me, that doesn't take away from it at all. I mean, I like, I like the more potent stuff, but. Well, yeah. you know, to me, that, that hits under 116. I, me too. Uh, so I mean, it's 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 interesting. It <clears throat> it hits me about like their double their double double, which is also I think a, a one sixteen. I think so. Um, but uh, um, mm -hmm. um, but it it it's not overpowering. You often one sixteen will overpower me, but then again one fourteen doesn't doesn't bother. One fourteen I think is wonderful. So it, yeah. it, it's oh, interesting, yeah. like the, the yeah. very the very first, you know, you get this buttery sensation, which I think is the mouthfeel, mm -hmm. and then I get these serious spices and then the oak comes in after that. Uh, so um, the, 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 the finish is, is kind of bittery. Um, uh, again, I, I, yeah. I, I don't mind it, it's, it's well, and I, I think that's really interesting that you get bitter and I get kind of more like this kind of, it might be a, a dark chocolate kind of thing, a, a chocolate drizzle, but as <coughs> but as the finish goes, that's where I get that coconut. Mm -hmm. It's like some, like, some, like some shaved coconut, which normally would be a big no for me uh, with this for whatever yeah, reason. Yeah, the coconut. I, yeah, I hate coconut, but this stuff is just kind of, you know, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to still keep working on this because I'm going to sip well, too. If not, I'll just pour the other it thing <laughs> no, no. It, uh, You know, I think what, what you know, in, in talking with you when you first had a sip, it was like best thing that they're offering. I still hold to that. Uh, and that's fine. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 will, I will argue with you on that one. I, I don't think that's the best offering. Uh, it is, it is good. Uh, I would, you know, again for the price tag. I mean, we're, you know, it was 105, so 107. Yep. Uh, and I think I spent 90 on honey, uh, and we spent I think 100 on this one. Yep. And, and again, this is kind of my my beef a little bit with. Again, I know it's a craft distillery, but this is a little bit of my beef with with them and some, uh, Middle West. Is it, 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 it's pricey. You get into some of these, and, and, and these are these are pricey whiskeys, and I think that's the consequence of craft distilling. I, the, yeah, that, that, that they can't afford to sell it for less. You know, would I would I would I like for them to? Hundred <laughs> percent. Sure. sure. Um, will I pay a hundred dollars for that bottle the next when they release, have a second release? One hundred percent. And I'll have a taste of it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll have to make sure it's, if, it's if they, right. Yeah. Huh? It's purely a, a technical evaluation of whether they've done a good job of, of repeating the formula. Yeah, uh, that that's be? why. That's why you're gonna. How, how so? How altruistic of you? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, because of those baking spices, now they're starting to soften up a little bit for me. But because of those, I I wouldn't be shocked if it went well with tobacco. I wouldn't be either. I wouldn't be shocked at all. Well, okay. Well, I'll say it so. does go well because I've had a pipe with it. Oh yeah. You know, and yeah. Um, nom nom nom. Okay. <laughs> you know, does it soften this? Well, I, I, no. I, 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 the the high proof doesn't really soften the alcohol hit. I don't um, get. But I don't. I'm not getting that alcohol hit. But but it it just it behaves differently. <laughs> we know. That's why I'm just bringing out a, a show and tell. What, what are we in second grade? I got some cigars. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you smoke them, but yeah. <laughs> so we got these are the Buffalo Trace ones, right? Yeah. They're Buffalo Trace. What we ought to do is split one of those in half, and you can have half of them. I can. <laughs> they're, the, they're the Buffalo Trace Churchills. That's what they are. Yeah. That's a Churchill. 
That's true. Yeah, well, they've, they've uh, definitely undergone the inflation, shrinkflation. Yeah. So. Look, you don't understand. There was shrinkage. <laughs> Significant shrinkage. So, anyway. so, the question is, now, let's just, so, in knowing what we've had recently, because we've kind of been on a, on a high bank kick, you already said that's their top of the line. Yep. That's that. Yep. Uh, to me, uh, you're going to go with a double double. double Dad double. loves the double double. And I'm going to go with honey or, well, I, I don't even remember what we voted for. Oak Father? The Oak Father. Yeah. We, the Oak well, Father. No, you, 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 you both, you went with honey. We went with honey, yeah. yeah. And then, but Oak Father would be still my second. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, so. again, if you're going to stick with the blind on that. I am. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I'm sticking to it, right? <laughs> Howard Johnson is right. Rarer, rarer. <laughs> I need another rarer on that guy. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. So, again, High Bank Distilleries, uh, right there in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, this was their cigar cask that you know uh, that they have recently released, and it's getting quite a bit of uh, get, 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 quite a bit of hype. Yeah, Bond uh, University gave it his best at Amarana finish that he's ever had. He did, he did. Huh. Uh, and he's all the way in California, so they're reaching all the way out there. I know. So they're doing pretty no, good. That was a good uh, ship of a bottle to that guy. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so, uh, uh, High Bank, if you're listening. <laughs> how you doing? Keep Ro shipping them. Ro royalties are, are worthwhile. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, hey, thanks a lot for tuning in. We appreciate you tuning. It's for all bourbon. Have a great one, gang. We'll catch you on the next one. See ya.